Good morning, happy Saturday. It's bank holiday weekend and I'm just so excited. I've been so tired this week. I've literally been falling asleep so early. So I'm just so happy to have three days off. I've only just woken up, so my voice just sounds so crazy. My hair is so greasy, so please ignore that. I'm washing it today, but we're going out this morning, so I'm not gonna have time, so I'm just gonna whack ahead behind in. Um, we're going out with Tom's family, we're going like, on a really nice walk with his mum, dad, brother, sister, their partners and their children. So it's going to be really nice. I did want to show you something. I ordered some matcha. I don't think I showed this in the other video. Um, I've heard like the matcha chimp is really good. But every time I've looked for it on Amazon, it's out of stock. And a review on this said it's very similar to the matcha chimp, like it's a good alternative. And this is the Mota eco matcha God, my voice sounds so weird <coughs> so i've been trying this out and i've been using the outpro vanilla milk which i saw mia wooden use and honestly it's amazing you don't need a syrup with that either i have run out of the milk but they're selling it in my local aldi so on our way home i've asked someone if we can pop to aldi and i'm just going to pick a few up because obviously with alpha milk it doesn't have to go in the fridge until it's opened so i'm going to pick up a few and store them in the cupboard so I got that so later we can make one because I've literally been coming home every day from work and just making an ice match and it's been the nicest little evening drink. The weather this week has been insane. It's been so nice and sunny. It's been so hot. We've been wearing sun cream and hats and haven't worn jumpers all week. And I think next week's meant to be like 25 degrees, which is just crazy. I'm just about to put a wash on because my washing basket, as always, is just overloading, overpowering my room. So I'm about to put a coloured wash on and then I'll probably put one on later as well. So like I said, it's not meant to rain for I don't even know how long. So I need to make the most of the weather. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put a wash on and then I'm going to go ahead and get ready in a minute. It's 10 past 8. We need to leave the house at about 10 or just before 10. So I'm going to say half 9 for myself, but I've got like an hour and a half. So I'm going to put this wash on and then have a shower and so I can get ready. So let's do some washing. And I've also got a few little parcels to show you. Any, I think there's only one PR thing. And then I've got something I ordered of Vinted. My first Vinted purchase. So very excited about that. So I'm just in the middle of doing my skincare. I've put a wash on. I've had a little body wash. It's so hot in my room. So I've just got change. I think I'm just going to wear this top from Zara. And I've got a skirt on. I think it's from Boohoo. But I'll double check. And I think I might wear my Vegas. Ve I haven't worn them in a while. And I think they'd look quite cute with this outfit. They're like the white with the pink V on. So I might wear those. I feel like I am still looking quite tan from holidays. Obviously I've had my arms out throughout the week because it's been so warm why does my face always go so bad as soon as I put toner on it actually stresses me out I wet this headbanding because like I said my hair is so greasy so I'm just going to wear this because it's a greasy mess and I don't have time to wash it this morning so that is the situation but I'm just going to do my skincare and I thought I could show you a couple of things I got this week um, the other day I got sent this from Color Wow it's their new colour security shampoo and I thought we could test this out together later. So it says it's 100% clean and residue free, leaves no residues behind to dull colour, weigh hair down or impede on hair growth. So it's meant to be really good for your hair and it says that it should help you wash your hair less. But I said my mum can test this out too because obviously I only wash my hair like once a week anyway. So she's probably the real test because she washes her hair like every day. Like I literally don't know how she does that. I remember like couple years ago like I'd wash my hair every other day and that was a pain but she literally does it pretty much every day or every other day and like I'm so glad that I got my hair into the routine I don't need to do that anymore because honestly I wish I was one of those people that loved wash my hair and I feel like maybe I will when like I get my own place and I can have like all my products lined up like 
don't know, but it's just the bane of my life. Like, I feel like it just takes so long to wash product out of my hair because it's so thick. But I do like the feeling after it's washed. Yeah, it does need a good wash when I get home later, so we can test that out together. It's only a shampoo, so I'll just put it with one of my conditioners. That was the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I think, I don't know if I told you this, I've lost this for ages, my Advanced Snail Mucin Power Essence. This is meant to be really good for your skin. I'm not a skincare guru, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. It's meant to be really good. So I'm really glad I found it because I missed her so much. She just brings some glow and she feels so smooth on the skin. So we'll blend that in and then I'll show you the next thing. I think there's a couple things I haven't showed you. I can't remember, not gonna lie, when I last did a vlog because I do a lot of TikTok vlogs as well. It gets really confusing. So let me have a look. I've got like a box where I'm just kind of throwing all my like PR products I've been sent. So oh, this is really cool. I still need to test this out actually. So we can probably test this out maybe later or tomorrow. This is from Biosculpture and they're basically like nail products to help your nails so it came with like a little booklet and it kind of explains with what each one is kind of for and it's all about kind of helping protect and make your nails look the healthiest they can be which i'm really happy about because my nails just are not cute so i'm really happy to try that out i can't remember if i showed this stuff i literally just can't remember I got sent three mascaras from L'Oreal. I got the L'Oreal Telescopic, the L'Oreal Paradise, and the L'Oreal Volumillion Mashes. So I'm going to use one of these today. I don't know which one yet. I'm going to have a little research into what, which one I feel like I'm using. And we can use that when I do my makeup and I'll like show you that part of me getting ready. So I'm going to do like a get ready for me on TikTok. Obviously, I'll show you the mascara. Let's put a bit of eye cream on. Um, and then I got one little purchase from Vinted, which I'm really excited about. I never have actually ordered anything from Vinted before. I've always had so many things like save, like I'm constantly looking on there and you know liking things on there but I've just never made a purchase and I thought, do you know what? Okay. Why not? Let's do my first purchase and the first one went really well because I was just nervous. I didn't know what it was going to be like. So it's on my chair. I feel like it's the perfect time to buy like winter stuff because obviously everyone just wants to get rid of it because it's now summer. So I love Sisters and Seekers, but it is quite on the pricey end. Like I literally live in that yoga hoodie, and so I'm constantly on Vinted searching for the jumpers. And this person was selling this jumper originally for like 45, and I got it down to 30, and it's originally like 50 pound. And it's like that screw jumper. It's like a really fleecy material, and it's like a high neck, and it's honestly pretty much such good condition. The only li little mark is like in here, and I said to Tom, I said. I'm gonna get makeup on that bit anyway because I literally get makeup on everything. And it's so cozy. Obviously, I'm probably not gonna wear it at the moment, but it was just a cute little purchase and I thought I just needed it. Um, and then where is my Walida skin food? So, oh, I've got my little Walida skin food. Gonna put this on this is the moisturizer I always put on it if I'm doing my makeup for the day. I wanna do my makeup because like we're seeing everyone, but I feel like it's gonna annoy me all day because it's gonna be so warm. So I'm like debating, I'm like, do I wear a foundation? Do I not? Because I'm like, it's going to be hot. So I'm like, I don't know. I think I'm just going to go with my um, collection for this finish because I don't want too much on the face. I still need to find my Charlotte Tilbury. I thought it was in Tom's car and I thought I picked it up and put it somewhere. But I just don't know where I put it. Why do I look like a tomato? So I'm just going to put this moisturiser on and then I'm going to straighten my hair because... It's not like 100% how I want it, so I'm going to straighten it a little bit, then we can get ready. It's currently 10 to 9 already, so I've got like an hour to get ready. I'm going to film a little get ready with me, so I'll probably come back to you when I'm looking a bit better. Well, actually, I'll come back to you when I'm testing out one of the mascaras, and we can see what they're like together. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and straighten my hair, and I'll come to you when I'm looking a bit more presentable. So I'm back from doing my makeup, I completely forgot, honestly, to come back during the doing my mascara did you just see that i'm sorry but like, look at my arms they're kind of matching the face right oh, look at the difference on the back of my arms i really need to get tan in these because that just looks ridiculous um but i used the where's it gone I've lost it now where's it gone i used the l'oreal 
Lash Paradise and I honestly really like it. I feel like it's made my eyelashes look really pretty, really, really long as well. I feel like my whole makeup has gone really, really well today. It's just, oh my God, the back of my arms is crazy. So like I said, I'm keeping this hairband, headband in. So I'm just brushing it. Oh my God, I need to put the washing out. Oh God, I need to go and do that quickly. I need to go put my washing out um, because it would have finished ages ago. But yeah, really happy with my makeup. We're going to go ahead and do that because we are rushing. We literally need to leave in a minute. So I want to get a matcha, so I really don't have time. So I will be back. Months, probably when I'm in the car. Quickly before we go in the car, this is my makeup. I feel like it has turned out quite nice. How long it's gonna last though, not sure. I've got this Zara cropped upon skirt from Boohoo and my little vague Javega things, what they're called. Mm -hmm. Um, haven't worn them in ages because I didn't want to get them. Um, I don't know because I didn't want to get them ruined. Where's my um, I haven't worn them in ages because I didn't want to get them ruined, but I need to go in the car because I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get my match now because we're running late. We were both young when I first saw you. I closed my eyes and the flashback stopped. They walk it's a little bit further away from my house but it's such a nice walk isn't it it's one of like the what's the thing called royal sign rhs what that stands for um you keep following the people um anyways it's a really really nice little area there's loads of stuff for the children too um so yeah we're meeting literally all the thomas family here so it's gonna be a really nice day it's really sunny i'm just scared i'm gonna be cold in the wind so i get cold why is everyone wearing like jumpers i feel like it's cold I'm scared. Yeah, I will speak to you on with that. Okay, so we're back in the car. It's now half one, I think. Yeah, half one. We've been to Wisley. It's been really nice. It was nice to catch up with everyone. Um, I had cheese and pickle sandwich, and Tom had a pepperoni pizza. It was really nice weather. Like it's really warm, but like in the shade, it's a bit chilly. But it's not too hot, which is nice. So we're gonna head back home now. It's about half an hour. Um, sorry about the air con, it's just really hot in here. Um, we're going to stop at Aldi on the way back. So I really want a matcha and I ran out of my Alpro vanilla milk. So I'm going to pick up a couple of bottles of that on the way back. So Okay, so we are at, well, we've just been to Aldi. Picked up a few little bits and barbs. I'm really enjoying it because they've got the Alpro vanilla milk. Alpro vanilla, which I use for my matcha. So I picked up two because obviously they can go in the cupboard. Like if well they're not opened um so i'm gonna make one as soon as i get home because it's literally the nicest thing at proof vanilla milk with matcha powder and ice so i'm gonna have that and i also picked up some blueberries raspberries oranges and in the like middle aisle they have these easy freezy squeezies the ones that, that you kind of like just put in the freezer as you go so we're gonna put a couple of these in it says they only take oh they only take three minutes oh rest at room temperature for three minutes. How long do you freeze it for? An hour or two, that'll be fine. So we're gonna put a couple of those in the front in the freezer. I'm gonna have an apple one I think. We are in the car wash. Um I picked up some oranges but I wanted to pick up easy peelers. We did it I picked up oranges and I can't open them. Oh it's hot it's so oh, I'm really annoyed. I'm not feeling like an orange I'm like I'm feeling the easy peeler. They're different. It's a satsuma, not an orange. That's why. <laughs> I prefer that to be able to in the car wash. And we can't open this orange. Let's make an iced matcha latte. We've got these like little ice trays. I've no idea where they're from. My mum got them. They're really cute. And we make like little square ice cubes. So I just kind of took a shower. I don't know. Six of these or something. It's like gold. I'm just boiling a kettle to put a little bit of water with the matcha, some of them are stuck together. I'm just pushing these and putting them in a little scrub that's covered for that. They're just the best thing for the matcha. Just 
So then we've got the Alpro Vanilla. I'm just shaking it up. I just bought a new one. And just open it up with some milk, let you taste so yummy. It's literally like a pudding. I'm just going to pour that in the cup. Maybe. And then another cup. Oh, thanks. In another cup, I've got my other jar. I need to like put this in a separate jar because it's literally full to the brim. I mean, it was when I got it. And I put in about a teaspoon into the cup. Sometimes I just add a little bit more. No harm in adding more. And then I just add a little bit of boiling water. Um, apple, please. Just like a little bit of boiling water, and then I just top it up with cold. And then I've got one of these little stir from Amazon. It's so cheap, can't remember how much, but it wasn't a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and stir it. And then once that's all mixed up, I'm just going to pour it in here. So sure. And you can add, I just fill that on there. Yeah. You can add like vanilla syrup if you want to make it more vanilla -y, but I don't actually have any. Let's see then. Mm -hmm. And it is so, so good. I'm impressioned. So I'm just going to let it sit though for a minute because sometimes like it doesn't kind of mix straight away. If you don't have to let it go to like vanilla milk. So I'm just going to let it sit. The fridge for a second, just want to put it away. Um, and that is the little matcha. Tom's just cleaning out his car because it's a bit of a mess and we need to take some for a lift later. And then I think we're just going to go on a little walk with the matcha and go and sit on like a little field in the sun, which I think will be really, really nice. Okay, so this lighting is not it. I'm trying to stay in the shaded section. Um, please excuse the TV. We've just been to a little pub. There's like a pub in my estate. Um, it's a really cute one and it's really like nice little vibes. So I had a Diet Coke and Tom had an orange juice and lemonade. Yeah, Tom had an orange juice and lemonade. We didn't want any alcohol because, you know, I wasn't really feeling that. Um, I had a really bad tummy at the drinking it because I think I've just had so many different things today. Um, it was really, really nice. Um, I didn't film because it was so busy there. Um, and then we just had a little walk back. So it's literally like a one minute walk away from my house, that pub. Um, because I felt that, basically, so when I was making my matcha earlier, Tom said to me, oh, it smells like fish. And I was like, what do you mean? Because I've been having it all week and I was literally loving it. And then he told me it smells like fish. And now that's all I can smell. So I don't really know what, why. And I, that's what I could taste. I don't know if I'm meant to be putting it in the fridge or like, can you pause a sec? I don't know if I'm meant to put it in the fridge or like, I don't know if it's because it says on there if you don't put it with like cold milk or water, it can taste funny. So I don't know if it's because I just bought the milk. So I'm going to try it again tomorrow while the milk's been in the fridge. See how that goes. But I was a bit like, uh, I don't know. But we're going to watch some Grey's Anatomy. I need to move because I'm literally sat in the sun and I'm baking a lot. Um, and then at half six, we're taking my neighbour to a little thing she's doing tonight and um, like 20 minutes away and then we're gonna pop to Boots on the way back because I want to pick up an SPF and a mouthwash that I've seen. <laughs> I wanna try out, they're really cheap so I thought, perfect. So I really wanna get into SPF again because it's obviously really good for your skin and maybe Tommy you can test it out too. So we're gonna watch Grey's Anatomy and I'll speak to you later. Nice pop time, take my makeup off because I was literally just wearing this is the apple flavour and it's so good. Okay, so we've just popped to Boots to just get a couple little bits and bobs. I thought that was Ella then. How are we still 20 minutes? So I got, because I really wanted to try this mouthwash, this is the Waken 
mouthwash. They have a few different ones. This is the Spearmint. It's like a really cute sage green colour. It's just really like aesthetic looking and apparently it's actually really nice. It doesn't give that like, you, know, you get that tingling sensation in your mouth when you have mouthwash. And then... It's really aesthetic looking. That's what I look at before I use mouthwash. But for me, that looks gorgeous. And then I got the Bondi Sands SPF, a tinted one, because I've seen people testing this out. And um, I thought I'd try it because if it's got a little bit of a tint, it might be nice for like when I'm at work and I'm not wearing any makeup. It might make me look a little bit nicer. So I thought we'd try that out tomorrow when we're doing our skincare. But we're just heading home now. We're just going to pop to Morrison's on the way back because Tom wants some snacks. And also sometimes in the evening they do like some deals so <laughs> we're just gonna have a look okay so we've just been to morrison's uh, about to put dinner in the oven it's these maple pork belly slices from aldi didn't realize they take 50 minutes so that's brutal so we're gonna put them in now and we just picked up like a little mixed veg bag which is 45k and it's broccoli sprouts and carrots and some mashed potato which was reduced to 74p very good. And then we got some snacks. So we got some Doritos and some salsa. Some more Ritz crackers because we more Ritz crackers. <laughs> we bought some cheese the other day to so go that some buttons. And then we got some big Watsits and we have got some of these to go with the cheese as well. But yeah, it takes fifty minutes. And I'm really hungry, so we're gonna have a couple snacks. And then have dinner. So dinner is served. We've literally just got mashed potato, Brussels sprouts, broccoli and carrots, and then this maple pork belly. <clears throat> it looks really, really good. We've got our snacks for later. And we're watching Grey's Anatomy. What a life. I'm having Doritos and salsa. It's like one of my most favourite little if she's snacks. Soon, if she's she has so, so, so. Okay, so we're back in my room. I'm just about to wash my hair. Like I said, it's honestly so greasy. Where's the hair brush? Yeah. Well, I can pass it. Um, so, like I said, I want to try out my new... What if I just put that as well? I want to see. Well, what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> the Colour Wow Colour Security Shampoo. So, I need to do a TikTok on it anyway. And a reel. So, I'm going to film that. So, I'll kind of tell you how it feels and when my hair is dry and stuff in the morning i'll show you it and see what it's like i'm intrigued to see what it's like because obviously it's meant to help you know your hair not be as greasy between washes i mean like i said i wash my hair like once a week anyway so i go between quite a while behind between washes i'm intrigued to see if it helps any more um obviously i haven't got a matching conditioner but i'll just use anything really i don't know which one i'm going to use but yeah i'm really intrigued to see what's like it smell it smells really like clean and fresh like salony um so i'm really excited but yeah i'm gonna get tom's help to film my thing because I, when we move out i just want like a, either a really high shelf for our products or like you know, like we've got the hole in the shower kind of thing. So I literally can't film anything in the shower and I love watching those like, little things. So I can't do that. So I'm going to need his help. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back to you on my hair. So look at the bit of So I'm back in my room, I've washed my hair and it feels really nice, obviously I'm just going to leave it to air dry overnight and we'll see what it's like in the morning. But I did a little TikTok video, I should do like a few other little things to it but hopefully that will be up probably before this video. Um, it's currently 5 to 11, I'm so tired because we were up late last night, um, so we're going to head to bed. I'm I've just shut the door, I've put the dishwasher on, I've washed everything up, so everything's like ready to go. I used my new mouthwash, she was minty but not too minty, I do have what they call like an ulcer in your lip, I've had it for ages and I keep, no actually I think I bit my lip and then because where it gets bigger I keep catching it every time, I don't know, I'm doing anything, so it's just not going so it stung a little bit on there but apart from that it was a lot better than normal and it just looks cute um so we're gonna head to bed i still don't know what we're doing tomorrow we literally haven't planned it 
Um, we will be doing something exciting tomorrow, no matter what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know if we're going to go to Brighton or Bournemouth or somewhere else. We're just going to kind of wake up and decide where we want to go in the morning and see where the day takes us. But it will be fun no matter what, so obviously I'm going to bring you with us. Monday, I don't know what we're doing, but I think I might film like a separate video for Monday. But obviously Monday we'll probably do some fun stuff too. I need to sort out my room. It's not like a mess. It's just I bought a bag in of stuff in my car so I need to put that away um, and I need to put some things in my wardrobe and I need to do some more washing because <laughs> I feel like that's a never ending job but I'm going to head to bed because I'm absolutely shattered and I will speak to you in the morning. Good morning, happy Sunday, it is 10 to 10, we've just been chilling and we've decided instead of going to Bournemouth and Brighton we're going to go to a place called Leon the Solent so I'm just trying to start my video. Um, Basically, I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it. It's kind of, I guess, near Portsmouth. And as a child, I used to go there all the time with my dad. Um, and I used to go with my mum when they were together too. And it's such a childhood memory and I haven't been in literally years. And we thought, do you know what? Bournemouth and Brighton are probably going to be so busy. Let's go somewhere else because all we want is a beach. And then we just want somewhere where there's a couple of cafes um, and a little walk. And it's got all that there. So it's about an hour away. So Tom's just having a shower now and I'm just going to have a shower afterwards. I'm just getting my thumbnail ready for this video. Though. So this is going to take two and a half hours to upload, which is just not okay. Um, but yeah, we're going to go there in a minute. So I'm literally going to go have a shower and then straighten my hair and I'm going to do some skincare. We could test out the new tinted um, SPF together. Hoping it gives a little bit of coverage. I feel like when you get a bit tinted, it like helps your skin look better. So, because I don't want to put much makeup on anyway, so I'm just going to put a bit of concealer, curl my eyelashes, things like that. But I need to straighten my hair because it looks like lion hair at the moment. Um, so yeah, but I'm intrigued to go back and kind of reminisce my childhood. So I can't wait to bring you guys with us. Oh yeah, so I also did a little TikTok shop order last night. I've never ordered on TikTok shop, so don't know what to expect, but I will show you what I ordered. Everything's either coming by the next couple of days or the beginning of June. So I'm finally getting one of the, um, hold on. I'm finally getting one of the little headbands that everyone has for doing their makeup and skincare. Getting a pink one. I also want to get a proper heatless curl set. So I'm getting this one. Obviously I did the dressing gown ones. So they turned out okay, but I thought I wanted to get the real deal. It was only £6. Finally caving in and getting a... TikTok light because when I'm doing my makeup get ready with me they just they're not the best quality they can be so I thought I'm gonna need that light and then from Beauty Crop I'm getting the Wee Cherie Mist because I have the Amelia Olivia one and I love that but apparently the Wee Cherie is even better and I also am getting the Vitamin Babe setting powder because my Laura Mercier one is my babe but she is a pricey gal and Grace's faces on TikTok, I know, uses the Vitamin Babe powder from Beauty Crop. So, and she always looks amazing. So, I'm going to test that out because that's like 10 pound and Laura Messi is like, what, 40 something? So, that would be a big difference. So, when it comes, obviously, I will try everything out for you and let you know and do a little haul. Um, but it's almost still in the shower. So, it's 10 o'clock. So, we'll probably be leaving about 11 and get there for about midday. So, it'll be really, really nice. So I've just had to rush because we're the traffic's getting higher. I'll show you my outfit in a minute, but I thought I'd quickly come on and show you me trying out the Bondi Sands tinted SPF. I'm really excited to try this out. So like I said, I don't really want to put makeup on today, so there's already cover. Let's take the cover off. I'm intrigued to see how this looks because I've seen a few people using this and it looks really good. Let's try this out. I'm intrigued because I've seen a lot of people using it and it looks really good so I'm just gonna, I don't know how much I've got on I feel like that's a bit too much but uh, let's see we'll just apply it like this a bit on my neck as well and then we'll rub it in it feels really hydrating I'm 
I feel like it has added like a nice little glow and a something something and it feels really hydrating but I need to go so I'll see you in the car okay, so the light is really good. there we go we are in the car and we're just leaving it's 10 to 11 um, and we're just about to leave it's probably going to take like an hour and 20 minutes maybe a bit more because obviously it is a bank holiday weekend and like it's probably like along the same route as going to some of the busier beaches but hopefully it's not going to be busy like the others i doubt it will be um yeah it's called lee on the solon and it's really cute obviously i'm going to bring you with us i think it's going to be really fun um i'm wearing i'll show you when i get out of the car properly but i've got this top from it's from asos it's from the odols collection i don't know if it's still sold I've got my stradivarius shirt which, shirt which i got on holiday zara jeans and my new balance 530s so yeah it's boiling in this car but i'm going to try and repack the bag because it hasn't really worked out as i wanted it to so but yeah i'm excited so we're just walking along the beach this is like such a memory we've literally just got here and it's so warm isn't it and it's such a memory we're just going to walk down to the park so i can show you tom and then we're going to go down to the little restaurant i don't know what's here so you tell me little cafe I'm very excited so we're at this place called it's called Kathy's Seaside Treats Bakery we've got this Biscoff is it yum yum which looks so good but we've ordered a bap so we'll wait for that first but it's right on the beach we've got um caramel latte it's really good I've ordered a sausage egg and avocado bap Tom's ordered what did you get sausage egg and hash brown yeah <laughs> It's honestly boiling, I'm actually sweating. So our baps are here. Thomas hash browns are a bit crumbly, but I think it would still be nice. So we had our little bap. It was quite nice, I don't know. It didn't taste like normal, do you know what I mean? I don't know, it was quite nice, I was quite filling. Then we had the Biscoff, um, what's it called? Yum yum, and that was so good. Um, I've got my iced coffee, which you put in the takeaway cup without me asking, it's like, she knew. So I've got that with me and we've just laid out our towels and we're sat right by the sea and it's so peaceful. It's literally so stunning. And I was saying to Tom, when I used to come here on holiday, um, I used to collect shells and I thought it'd be like a cute little memory to do the same thing. So I found one already like right by where we, we were sitting and we're just, it's honestly boiling. It's 21 degrees but it feels so hot and I think we're going to get ice cream in like a little while um we're just gonna sit on the beach for a bit and just relax still on the beach it's just about to turn two o'clock but we were just saying like you know like the english heat is so much harder to sit in than it is when you're abroad so it's about two, we've been playing bat and ball, we've walked down to the sea and it's honestly really hot. So it's two now, so we're going to pack our stuff away and we're going to walk down to the arcade, which is literally just down the path. Um, and we're going to do like the 2P machines and things because that's just like what we love to do, that's so fun. Um, so we're going to go to the arcade, then we'll probably get some ice cream, we'll probably leave about three-ish. Um, and then we would have been here four hours, but it's just like nice to be somewhere different and feel like you're away. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go walk down to the arcade because I've told Tom it's a really good arcade. I mean, I'm hoping because we walked down to the park that I used to play at when I came here. And honestly, it's shocking. There used to be this massive like tunnel slide and it's not even there anymore. So it's literally turned into skate park. I was very disappointed. <laughs> we just got some ice cream and then we got some ice cream and a fuse. Mine's a regular, Tom's is a large, but mine's like a rainbow one. I don't even know what the flavors are, but it looks so good. So it's currently three o'clock and we are leaving. We had a really, really nice day. It was so nice to like reminisce coming here as a child. Um, but it was just getting so hot, you know, like when the English sun is just too much. Why is there cars down there? We collect, collected some shells, we sat on the beach, we went to the arcade, we got some yummy ice cream. And I was saying to Tom, if we come here again, like it's just nice, it's not as busy and hectic as the other place, like seaside towns. And you can also go into like Gospel and um, Fairroom, which are a bit busier. And then obviously you've got to go off Keys on the ferry. And it's like, I think it's only like a five minute ferry. Um, so we might do that at some point. But it's a really nice day. We're going to head home now and just chill. The sun's like tying us out, but it was such a good day.
don't know about anyone else, but when it's like hot, we're not that hungry. I know like, I know we've had today is like a bat and an ice cream. So we're thinking we're just gonna like snack throughout the day, like the evening, sorry. So we bought some cheese and crackers the other day. We got, did I vlog this the other day? It was just a random day. When did we buy this cheese? I don't know. Anyways, we got pineapple and rum cheese. We got a red Leicester with mango chutney. And we got some Wednesday dough. And then this is just a spare cheddar cheese from HelloFresh we never use, but Tom loves cheddar, so he's gonna have that. And then we've got some Ritz crackers, because they're my favorite. Tom likes these like sweet ones, like the digestive -y crackers. And then there's also some cream crackers. So we're gonna have a little bit of this, and then I'm gonna sit in the garden and watch some YouTube. So obviously my washing is on, let me put these on so I look like a potato, um, I've got my Macbook out and I'm going to put some YouTube on and just have a little catch up, it's currently half four and there is actually a Chelsea game on right now so Tom's just watching that inside, I thought you know I want to make the most of the sun rays so I thought I'm going to just whack on some YouTube in the garden while no one's home and just chill in the sun rays and he's going to have my water actually, um, ow, fucking ow, <laughs> Ow. The chair just scratched me. Mm -hmm. The chair just scratched me. Um, so I've whacked a wash on. I've only got my white wash to do now. So once that one's finished, um, and I've hung it up, so I took some of the washing down. I still got a bit more to take down, so I'll do that. And then I've got my white wash on, and then all the washing's done. Um, so feeling really good. I just need to put everything back in my wardrobe and my floor. So I'm gonna do that tonight feeling good so I'm gonna talk to you in a little while just gonna chill literally loving these sun rays it's the nicest day ever so I'm doing my whitewash now if anyone has any tips on like you know when you're washing your socks and they're like I don't know faded from where you've been walking on the floor my bed from where you've been walking on the floor or something because yeah every time I wash my socks they just still look dirty so any like advice or like something to use to make them look a bit whiter would be great because nothing makes them look white in my house so well, <laughs> I've, i was sat in the garden for a few hours well a couple of hours watching some youtube i've emptied my washing basket so i'm really really happy about that because i feel like i never get to the point where my washing basket is empty so everything's out now just that pile behind me is my stuff that was dry so i need to take that up with me when we go upstairs it's currently nearly seven o'clock. We've just been chilling and yeah, we're about to watch something. I don't know what. We'll probably end up watching a bit of a movie. We'll probably watch a bit of Grey's Anatomy. But my mum said she's not she's out at the moment, but she's not staying there for long, so she'll probably be home in a little while and so then they'll probably want to watch something. It's a really nice sunny day. Um I don't know what we're gonna watch. We could watch a Disney film, we could watch the third Harry Potter film. I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking to this one looking at you. Um, I don't know what we're gonna watch, but I will let you know. Um, I still don't know what we're having for dinner. I don't really know what we're having really. But we're okay at the moment. I need to post on Instagram. I'm posting one of my swimsuit pictures from a holiday tonight. Um, it's like my little black swimsuit picture from the indoor spa. So they're really cute. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look for a little movie. The sun is still shining bright. I'm trying to think of what to do tomorrow, but I'm not sure. Um yeah, the sun has tied me out, but I'm just gonna chill. We've decided to watch a film called Air when we went to the cinema to watch what do we watch? Can't remember. But there was like a trailer for a film called Air and it has Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck mm -hmm. in it, which is a good actor. And it's got the woman from How to Get Away with Murder. And it looks really good, so we we're gonna watch that on our little fire stick. Hopefully it'll be good. I will let you know if I recommend. Okay, so we finished the film air. What what do you rate it out of ten? That was a really good film. It was basically about eight point nine. <laughs> it was basically Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> it was basically about the the how would you word it? The making of Basically, Jordan's. it was Nike when they were really smaller small. than Converse and, and Adidas. Adidas. And the making of how they got big with Michael Jordan. Mm. I didn't even know that was what it was about. <laughs> it was really good. Um, so we recommend. Now we are hungry. I know we said we weren't going to get food, but we are. We're going to Domino's. Oh, yeah, that's that new one. The, the ultimate chicken Mexicana. 
tomato sauce, mozzarella, tomatoes, onions, green and red peppers, jalapenos, taco, spiced chicken, and mayonnaise. Maybe. So, um, I'm getting a Texas barbecue pizza because that is my go-to. I would want to try something new, but I'll just regret it. But I am going to get Italian style instead of the normal to be a bit healthy. <laughs> Tom's getting an absolute banger. I'm not, I don't need them. Um, well, they had a really good deal, so they've got 50% off pizzas. Delivery pizzas. unavailable. Oh. Cock. Well, should we just go get it then? Hold on. It might be because I haven't changed my dress. Um, anyway, so we... Yeah, it had 50% off pizzas on the app, and it was also doing any size pizza for 9 99 So it's only £21. With the dip yeah. Pizza has arrived. I got Texas barbecue. They said they what they run out of thin crust for large pizzas, so we got two of Tom's one. So my mum's just gonna have some of that. And of course, got my big dip. I literally can't live without this. So it's half ten, and we are going to bed. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow's plans, I don't know, but I am gonna be doing a separate video because I want to do like spend a bank holiday with me. Um, but I need to put, do a bunch of tidying up, so it probably consists of a lot of that. Um, we had a really nice day. I, I've got like a, what are they called? I, I basically, I bit my lip ages ago. And then every time I eat, because it was like lumpy, I keep catching it. So it's just getting worse and worse. It's so annoying and painful. It's very, very annoying. But um, yeah, we're heading to bed now. I just need to do my skincare, but I thought I'm not going to show you, especially all the time. I really want to get back into cleansing. So I'm going to use my... Um, inky list oat cleanser i've got i've just answered some emails this evening so i've got a few more packages that'll be on the way so probably by next weekend we'll have a few cute new bits to shoot so that's very exciting but it was such a nice day today and i think tomorrow's meant to be the same so we're gonna have a nice sunny day again yeah not as hot as today but still really warm and then next week is half term, so we're a bit quieter at work, which is quite nice. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of tidying now, but I'm going to do most of it tomorrow. I'm just going to pick up a few bits, so I've kind of got like a head start, but I'm not going to show you because I'm only going to be doing it for like 10 minutes because I'm absolutely shattered. I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, the sun was really nice. It was really nice to have a beach day and do like something different. That's what I said to Tom, like I've realised since doing like all my weekend vlogs, like although we have fun a little bit, I feel like we're doing the same things again and again and again, and I just want to change it up. And something like that, like we didn't spend a lot of money, you know. So, and that was only an hour away, so we could do that more often. I want to go to like different walks. I want to go to Thought Park soon, um, because I haven't been in literally years. Me and John have never gone together. Um, so I really want to go there at some point during the summer. So I'll obviously bring you there when we go. I also want to do another staycation at some point, so we might do that over the summer. We might either go to Cornwall again or we might go to Wales or Isle of Wight, I don't know, somewhere. But I think it would just be nice because our last one was so cheap so I would definitely do that again and you're in the area then, you know, you can explore. But yeah, I'm going to head to bed but I hope you enjoyed the vlog anyway. I'm glad there was something like a little bit different involved um, and I hope you enjoyed and if you did then please subscribe and I'll see you next time.